The film begins with David Mason, a young and charming CIA agent trying to impress a girl he has just met. His mentor, Peter Devereaux, approaches and warns him about getting too close to people, emphasizing that relationships can be exploited as leverage. Peter points out a person with a camera, which alarms David, but Peter advises him to get a dog if he wants unconditional love. Both Peter and David are CIA operatives, currently on a mission to protect an ambassador. Peter, posing as the ambassador, switches suits with David, who sets up his sniper rifle in a nearby building to monitor the area. David identifies potential threats and describes a likely shooter. Despite his concerns about insufficient backup, Peter insists on proceeding. During the operation, a man from the crowd stands up, and Peter instructs David not to shoot, noticing a young boy nearby. The man fires at Peter, but David quickly takes him down. Although Peter is saved by his body armor, the boy is tragically killed, deeply affecting Peter. Fast forward five years, and Peter is now retired, living in Lausanne, Switzerland. He receives a call from John Hanley, his former handler in the CIA. Hanley shows Peter photos of dead agents who once worked with him, revealing that a Russian assassin named Alexa, working for presidential candidate Arkady Fedorov, is responsible. Fedorov aims to eliminate anyone who knows about his past crimes. Hanley also shows Peter a file on Natalia Ulanova, an old flame and current undercover agent close to Fedorov. Natalia has vital information that could bring Fedorov down and a name that ties him to war crimes in Chechnya. She specifically requests Peter's help for extraction. In Moscow, at the Russian parliament, Fedorov gives a press conference while Natalia, his aide, sneaks into his office to photograph incriminating documents. After the speech, Fedorov returns and Natalia narrowly avoids getting caught by putting everything back just in time. Time. However, Fedorov notices a key left behind and realizes someone has been in his vault. Natalia heads to the extraction point, with CIA agents tracking her. At the U.S. Embassy in Belgrade, Hanley coordinates the extraction while receiving a video call from Perry Weinstein, who stresses the importance of Natalia's information. Natalia's cover is blown and she is chased by Russian FSB agents. Peter arrives just in time to rescue her, but Natalia is surprised to see him, not expecting his involvement. Unbeknownst to the CIA, Hanley hadn't informed them about Peter's participation. Natalia asks Peter about their daughter, Lucy, but their conversation is cut short when Weinstein orders Natalia's execution to prevent her information from falling into the wrong hands. As Natalia tries to reveal the name of Mila Filipova, David, now part of the extraction team, shoots her, causing an accident. Before dying, Natalia hands Peter a phone. Enraged, Peter vows to avenge her death. He attacks the CIA team, killing the agents, but sparing David. The two briefly face off before going their separate ways. Peter retrieves the memory card from Natalia's phone and discards the rest. Back in the U.S., Hanley searches for Mila Filipova while CIA agents raid his home. Meanwhile, David, after a private call, is led to a refugee center in Belgrade, where Alice Fournier, an aid worker, is approached by Edgar Simpson, a New York Times reporter. Edgar seeks information on Fedorov, but Alice warns him of the dangers and expresses her reluctance to get involved in politics. At Belgrade International Airport, Alexa, the Russian assassin, arrives and sets up her weapons at a hotel. David is interrogated by Weinstein about his failure to kill Peter. David reveals his disorientation during the incident, and Weinstein suspects Peter's motivation for avenging Natalia's death. Weinstein orders David to eliminate Peter, and David agrees. Peter infiltrates Hanley's apartment and fights off two CIA agents. Meanwhile, Alexa, at a web cafe, receives information linking Alice to Mila Filipova and obtains Alice's address. David and the CIA, tracking Peter, discover his interest in Alice. Posing as a CIA tech team member, Peter gathers information on Alice's location. Peter arrives at Alice's workplace, just as Alexa, disguised as a waitress, calls her. Peter warns Alice that Alexa is an assassin. As Alexa reaches for a knife, Peter tells Alice to run. A chase ensues, when the CIA, led by David, bursts in. Peter and Alice flee through the kitchen, and Peter uses his wits to outmaneuver the agents. During the pursuit, Peter taunts David over the phone, highlighting their shared history. In a parking lot, Peter sets off a car alarm as a diversion and escapes with Alice in a hot-wired vehicle. 
David arrives just as Peter shoots the spilled fuel, causing an explosion and securing their escape. Edgar, leaving a restaurant, is unknowingly followed by Alexa. Peter questions Alice about Mila Filipova's whereabouts, but she denies knowing. They board a train, and Alice reveals she has a file on Mila. Peter recognizes a photo of someone Alice knows as Lebidov, but he identifies him as Simeon Denisov, Fedorov's man from the Chechnyan War. Shortly after they head to where the man is, they meet him at a strip club. Peter informs Denisov that Fedorov is systematically eliminating anyone who knows about his past war crimes. Curious, Peter asks why Fedorov is killing these people and what he did. Denisov explains that Chechnya has valuable oil reserves that Russia covets. Before his last Chechnyan war, a building exploded with Russian soldiers inside, triggering the conflict. Shockingly, it was all a secret plan orchestrated by Fedorov and the CIA, leaving Peter stunned. At a CIA black site, Celia attempts to interrogate Hanley about his relationship with Peter, but Hanley is dismissive and rude. Meanwhile, at the office, Weinstein hands David a flash drive, containing Peter's thoughts about him. Back home, David checks the drive and is shocked to find photos of Peter and Natalia, despite Peter advising him against forming attachments with women. Peter had also reported that David was reckless, disobedient, and should be dropped as an agent, which infuriates David. Spotting the neighbor's cat again, David takes it inside and introduces himself to its owner, Sarah. Peter and Alice, concerned about Mila's safety, purchase numerous cell phones and walk down the streets discussing their plans. Before Peter breaks into an apartment whose occupants have left, he grabs some alcohol from the cabinet for a drink and moves to the window to observe the apartment across the street. He sees Sarah and David leaving in a taxi. David, deciding to enjoy life more than his job, takes Sarah to a club. While playing the piano, Alice accidentally slips a Russian word, surprising Peter. She explains that her parents were university professors who taught her Russian. David and Sarah return to David's apartment, having grown very close. They enjoy a wonderful time together. Meanwhile, Peter gets dressed and tells Alice she can no longer stay with him. He gives her cash and a phone, instructing her to find a safe place to hide. The next morning, David wakes up to find Sarah missing, but receives a text from her phone shortly after. He checks his guns, discovering they are gone. Moving to the kitchen, he finds Peter holding a gun to Sarah's head. David tries to calm her, but Peter plays mind games with her, suggesting that David is unsure if she is worth living. Peter forces Sarah to ask David if she is worth saving, and when David hesitates, Peter claims it proves his point. David then yells that yes, she is worth saving. Peter tells David it's time for his final lesson about not caring for those he kills while on duty. David responds that he had no choice but to kill Natalia. In Moscow, Peter holds a knife to Sarah's throat and leaves his gun within David's reach. David grabs the gun and demands Peter let Sarah go. Peter, testing David's true character, decides to cut Sarah's femoral artery on her right leg and leaves. David chooses to save her, applying pressure to the wound and calling an ambulance, presumably saving her life. Fedorov arrives for a conference, but meets with Alexa first for directives. When Edgar returns home, he encounters Alice, who wants to tell him everything she knows about Fedorov. She mentions Mila, but as Edgar retrieves a recorder, Alexa emerges from hiding and stabs him. Alexa attempts to kill Alice as well, but Edgar restrains her, giving Alice a chance to escape. David, examining Peter's photos again, realizes that Peter and Natalia had a daughter, which the CIA never knew about. At the CIA black site, Peter confronts Hanley about why he was called back when Natalia was unaware. Hanley reveals that Natalia had an eyewitness to the Chechnyan war conspiracy, implicating America in bombing the building. He discloses that Weinstein worked with Fedorov and ordered Natalia's execution. Hanley also mentions Mila Filipova, whose parents taught her Russian, leading Peter to deduce that Alice is Mila Filipova. David informs Weinstein that Peter has a daughter, showing him photos of Peter and Lucy. 
Meanwhile, the CIA begins a facial recognition search on Alice. Heading to the Belgrade Hotel, Alice receives a call from Peter, who now knows she is Mila Filipova, and warns her against going after Fedorov. Ignoring his advice, she proceeds to Fedorov's apartment. In the bathroom, she recalls Fedorov killing her family, sparing her only because he thought she was deaf. The CIA also realizes Alice is Mila and reveals that the real Alice died four years ago. Mila uses a broken mirror as a weapon and confronts Fedorov, holding it to his throat. Fedorov recognizes her and taunts her, suggesting she would have killed him already if she truly wanted to. Fedorov begins to psychologically torture Mila again, causing her to hesitate. He then overpowers her, pinning her to the bed. At that moment, Peter arrives at the hotel, fights off the guards, and bursts into a room to save Mila. He instructs her to get a phone to record Fedorov's confession. When Fedorov refuses to comply, Peter plays Russian roulette with him. Fedorov finally admits that he conspired with John Hanley, shocking Peter since Hanley had claimed it was Weinstein. Peter gets a photo from Mila and confirms it was indeed Hanley. Outside, Peter engages in a gun battle with CIA agents. David fails to capture Peter but gives Mila an access card to escape the building safely. David pursues Peter to the basement where they fight. Eventually, Peter strangles David unconscious and leaves him with Alice's phone. Later, at the station, they watch Fedorov's confession and decide to take it to Weinstein. However, upon entering his office, they find Hanley, who orders David to sit down. Peter reunites with Alice at the hotel, advising her to disappear, as running away is better than being dead. They discuss their lives, and Peter reveals he is a retired agent now running his businesses. He calls his daughter's phone, only to discover Hanley has kidnapped her. Hanley threatens to kill her if Peter doesn't comply, but reveals it was David who delivered Lucy to them. Hanley wants to trade Lucy for Mila. Peter tells Mila to go to the station and book three tickets for their escape while he meets with Hanley. Hanley explains that controlling Fedorov means controlling Russia, and when Fedorov becomes president, Hanley would force him to join NATO, enabling them to attack the Middle East. Peter, at a cafe, writing an article exposing Fedorov, realizes Alexa had tracked him down. He informs Hanley that Mila is at the station, prompting him to send in David and other agents after her. However, David, having learned of Hanley's corruption, sabotages his colleague's seatbelt, causing a fatal crash. David then proceeds to rescue Lucy. At the cafe, Mila encounters Alexa and flees. Alexa gives chase, but Mila stops, hits her with a shovel, and disarms her. Realizing Alexa is no longer a threat, Mila returns to finish her mission. David confronts Hanley, shooting his men and giving Peter a chance to hold Hanley at gunpoint. Peter spares Hanley, thanking him before leaving with Lucy. Mila completes her task and sends the information on behalf of Edgar Simpson before joining Peter and Lucy. Later, Mila provides a deposition to government officials about Fedorov's murder of her family and his conspiracy with CIA agent John Hanley, which led to the building explosion that started the Second Chechenian War. The news spreads, ending Fedorov's presidential ambitions. In the final scene, Fedorov, believing he has escaped justice, is on a yacht with women enjoying his life, but he is abruptly and silently shot by a sniper from afar. This brings the justified end of his life and the dramatic conclusion of the movie. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.